Hi and welcome to Becca's Toy Collection today. We're gonna open this super lovely Starry Point lighthouse and I'm also gonna furniture it. So this is gonna be a furniture dollhouse house tour, something like that. Uh, I got this a few, like a month or more back, but I haven't opened it yet because I haven't set up my space for my Sylvanians, but today I'm gonna do that. So let's open this up. So as you can see, it has a light up tower uh, projecting three beautiful night skies and also has just the normal light and you can connect it with others and as you can see the box is a bit too 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 big to fit in frame but you can see some over here and I will give you a overview of the box too so here's the side and it's just show you kind of how you can connect it with the cozy cotton beach hall, hall house and here's some other other sets super cute and then take a look at the back and it has like the night sky vision so it's a pretty simple house you can see here it's what you get in this set so you do get the slides for different uh different like lights you get some laddons balloon and some counters so it just has some more more things that i thought so Let's open this up and see what we can do. And this is all it came with, so it comes with a lot of pieces. And you can see here, it also comes with quite a lot of packaging and trash and stuff. So I'll see if I can put it together and give you a quick view. So this is kind of what it looks like. It comes with these three slides for the lights. It also comes with this little storybook. So I'm going to fl flip through it and if you want to read it, you can just pause it. It also comes with some stickers if you want to put that on. And do come with this pamphlet uh, where you can see a bit more of the different sets that they have. So first up, uh, this little oops, porch uh, is loose so you can't really connect it. It's because you can suppose you can move it and make it like a, a la like a walking path if you have like the sea part so you can make it kind of like a dock. But for here it is loose, you also can put this little French window up. So this was what it looks like from the front with all of the pieces in. So let's turn it around, so I'm just going to move this and make some noise. So this is what it looks like with the pieces, so it did, did come with a few accessories. It came with a little boat hanging mat, so you can connect it uh, to the base plate or whatever you want to call this one, the second tier or second storage or whatever. And you can also connect it here if you don't have this one in. Comes with a little blanket, a little table and a couch. Comes with this little rope ladder. Comes with this little balloon where you can put a baby. You kind of can move it around. Also comes with this little kitchen thing. So it's a sink and a stove and it's roundly shaped so you can go right here and here's the lighthouse itself so I'm going to decorate this and see um, I'm not sure which pieces that I will keep or if I will change everything out and of course so I won't miss it they have this little turn out so you can use as a staircase so I'm gonna pull out some of my furniture sets and see if I can decorate this
So that's basically the furniture I will be using. And as you saw, I started with the larger furniture and then went into my smaller drawer to find some detail pieces. I'm gonna see if I can find a family who wants to move into this gorgeous house. Uh, overall, it's quite a small space. Like basically this space, it's really hard to fit like anything inside of it because of the round dome shape. Uh, which is awesome that they do that they, they included a kitchen piece for it so you can use it for like something at least. So I just put my table. I really wanted to get a refrigerator in here but it didn't fit at all. So I put a table and some food and dining pieces. I also put this bag of of vegetables because I thought it looked cute and adding some details. I have a flower and some pots there. I kind of had to move this a bit so to could fit it. I got a couch and just a table, a lamp. I did save this because I thought it would be cute. So if you don't want to use this, you will get like loads of other space. So maybe you can like have the kitchen in here and maybe have like just a dining set in here. That would be nice too. Here I just did a, a smaller bedroom. So I had this semi double bed, I think it's called. Just got a little nightstand with lamp and some magazines, some toys. Uh, as you saw, I have a lot of baby cribs, but I thought this looked better. It looked a bit crowded with the other things. So I will see if I find a family for this. So first I thought I would put the person family in here, but um, they're quite fancy dressed, so I didn't want to include them. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on that, I can link it to you so you can see what kind of clothes they are, or they have. So I decided to go with a slight day of Fox family because I thought they had like a kind of rustic themed to their clothes. So I do have the family, two babies, and I also have this, this double baby, um, basically because uh, I think they were on sale, so I didn't think I had this. So I got another one, so now I have three, but it's kind of perfect because I kind of want one in, the, no, you can't see up here, but one playing or two playing and kind of try out if I can put one in the swing here. So I'll just open this up and see. So here it is, so uh, this family is going to have triplets, so let's see where I can place them. I think I'm going to place Dad in the kitchen uh, cooking, so let's see if you want to go inside. I'm just going to place him here. Whoops, I'm gonna fall over. I'm gonna raise his hands a bit so he can stand above the. like that. Um, I think mommy's gonna do crossword puzzles on the couch. And these are a bit stiff because maybe you can hear it. I have never used or bent these, these legs before, so I'm gonna be careful. And this one was actually pretty hard to to move so I hope that will work yeah so I'm gonna put her here so you kind of can see her and I wonder if she can hold one of the pens so let's see no not quite so let's put it back she can just sit there and pretend she is reading and uh, I do want uh, someone in this uh, the swing so maybe I will put the brother and maybe I will get a friend for him so he's having a friend over and they can sit in there together let's see so put him there and I will find a friend for him so I picked this one because it's one of my favorite families an elephant trunk elephant I think and you can see these are much more smoother because I've had them for a while and they have been in my Slovenian village before so I put them there and I think I'm gonna give them some books books and a magazine to read so the only books I have that have their stickers on are like these telephone books but I'm gonna take them anyway and the only magazines I have left are sewing and knitting magazines maybe they can sew or knit I do have this sewing kit. Uh, I will put place one warm book in here. So I'm gonna do some more furnishing and the magazine. So I'm kind of blocking the view a bit. 
And I do have, let's see, let's take the knitting set out and then I can kind of can place, I wonder if I can place it, I'm probably going to knock everything out now. Place it a bit, like behind here, start working, because I don't think this can open anymore, you're a bit kind of broken, let's see. So I put it in the back so it's I know it's there, it doesn't show much, but and they can pretend that they oops, of course I'm knocking over the flowers. They can pretend that they are learning to knit. So I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna fix this and be back. So I got the one of the needles in his hand and he has the little knitting product there. I picked up the flowers, so let's move to the upstairs. So here I'm gonna have the rest of my characters and I'm gonna post this here later, but I'm I will just pop one of the boys in there, and I will put this swing right next to here, so it doesn't look like he's flying around all by himself. Oh, that looks super cute! And so cute. So I put it there, but I will just fix the other ones first. So I think I'm gonna put the baby girl playing here, and let's see if he's here. Don't wanna, don't wanna cover her all. So let's see. She can sit here, with the pacifier and some toys and such. Let me just put uh, the last baby in the bed. I do have some other covers. I wonder if one of them fits better. Pink one fits better with the room, I think, because the main bed is, oops, it's pink. Yeah, that works better. And of course, I'm missing the pink cover. So I'll just take this little sheep one, just put him over, probably put it over him, like that, and he can be sleeping over there. And since the doll won't fit now that he's in there, we just put it with her and the sister can sit in the bed and kind of keep an eye on the children and play with them. And let's put him back there. So let's see. So yeah, that's basically how it's going to be. You can see one baby sleeping there. You can see them playing. So I think I got quite a lot of nice pieces and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Overall, it's quite a nice house. It's basically, I think it's might be a bit smaller than the normal cozy cotton, which is an extra piece. It's quite a lot ex more expensive because of the light up function. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. But it comes with a few different furniture, which a lot of the sets don't. So. It's it's really nice, so I'm pretty happy with it. Kind of wondering if this works. I was just about to finish this video, but I wonder if I can. Since I will be having it on this side, I might do the pad, uh, the like, I'm not sure what it's called, patio, I think it's called, on this side and put some of my outside furniture. But I will see if I can move this over to the shelf where I'm going to have my Sylvanias. And um, I might, I'm afraid I'm gonna like tip everything open, but see how that goes. So that actually went pretty good. The only thing I tipped over was the little table over there. So I decided not to put any patio furniture on this side. I just left this here because if I put furniture here, it kind of covered everything up. So and it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna put in my beechwood whole house over here. So I hope that will fit and then I will do some decorating on this green thing over here. So yeah, I do hope you like this video. My mother fell over a bit so I'm gonna move her up there. I hope you like this video and let me know what you think. I have an old Beechwood Hall uh, furniture video that I will link to if you want to see that until I make my next one. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!